Hi, in this video, you learn emulsification process in the food processing industry. The first term that is what is mean by solution. The solution that means mixing of solvent and the solutes is called as a solution. In this solution, maybe number of solvents with the number of the solute constituents which are mixed to formation of the homogeneous mixing of all solutes into the solution and resulting formation of the solution then what is meant by immixable or unmixed solution in which the sum of the constituents which are the not mixed to each other for example in which oil and water milk cream and water due to the their density difference and their property difference they are not readily get mixed into the each other is called as a immixable constituents or the immixable solutions then what is mean by emulsion emulsion is a process in which whatever immixable constituents which are mixed to the uniform or the homogeneous product is called as a emulsion process in the emulsion process by addition of the emulsification that is the emulsifying agents and high speed mixers is required then what is mean by emulsification emulsification that means it is a process in which the emulsion is carried out in which whatever the immixable liquids two or more this immixable liquids are properly mixed and formation of the stable emulsion in which one of the constituent is dispersed to the uh, another within the very small droplets and also added uh, emulsifying agents you can see a simple example of the emulsification in which first that is the milk and second one is the butter in which whatever the fat soluble constituents and the whatever the water soluble constituents these are the properly mixed and formation of the stable emulsion in the emulsification process the main constituents which are present in the immixable liquid uh, solutions the first one is the water and water soluble constituents is called as aqueous phase or materials in which salt sugar organic and the colloidal substances which are the easily mix into the water then second in which the oil and oil soluble constituents these oil soluble constituents are easily dissolved into the oils which are the substances called as a hydrophobic materials these two phases are mixed to each other with the addition of the emulsifying agents with high speed mixing or by homogenization process resulting we get the homogeneous final product that is the formation of the emulsion what These are, are the, the basic type of the emulsification system in the preparation of the food product the first one is the oil in water emulsion that means in this oil is in dispersed phase and the water is in continuous phase if we mix it with the oil water and emulsifying agents and after that high speed mixing or the homogenization process resulting whatever the oil which is the dispersed into the small droplets and resulting we get the homogeneous food product for example milk in which the oil constituents are in dispersed phase and water is in continuous phase then second type of the emulsification system that is the water in oil emulsification system in which water is dispersed into the oil and resulting we get the emulsion for example butter in which containing higher percentage of the fat which is in continuous phase and water which is in dispersed phase these are the main two types of the emulsification system in the food processing industry in the emulsification system immixable constituents which are mixed to each other by the emulsification process in which one one is the 
one phase constitutes which are in continuous phase and another that is in dispersed phase basically the two phases are occurred in the emulsification process you can see in the first that is the oil in water emulsion system oil is in small quantity which is disturbed that is the disturbed into the small droplets by using the homogenization process and which is distributed to inside of the continuous phase and resulting formation of the oil in water emulsion system that means oil which is first homogenized into the small droplets which is the distributed to inside the emulsion which is called as a disturbed or discontinuous or the internal phase and water which is the higher quantity which is as a continuous phase or also called as a external phase in the second system that is the water in oil emulsion system you can see the oil quantity is higher and water quantity is lower in this system water is disturbed into the small droplets and which is the distributed to into the emulsions resulting we get water in oil emulsion in which waters are in small droplets that the disturbed discontinuous or the internal phases and externally that is the continuous phase containing the oil in this way whatever the unmixable constituents in which one of the constitute which is disturbed or discontinuous into the small droplets and distributed through inside of that all emulsions and resulting we get the good emulsion how does work emulsifier and the stabilizer in the preparation of the food product in the stabilizers mostly stabilizing agents which are the based on the polysaccharides the main property of the stabilizing agent to holding the water capacity is very high in order to increase in the thickness mouth filling then product st uh, structural stability water binding capacity then creamy consistency and the viscosity of the product is improved examples these are the proteins starch then pectin substances then food gums and the cellulose mostly involving in the polysaccharide substances and the protein substances in which the basic properties that capacity to hold out the water content resulting viscosity is increases and whatever the disturbed phase containing substances their position is stable and the formation of the stable emulsion of the final product the main examples related to the in the stabilizer involving agar cellulose cellulose derivatives corn starch then gelatin gavar gum xanthan gum etc then second that is the emulsifying agents which are added during the preparation of the food product in which emulsifying agents first that is the protein base in which the gelatin then egg albumin then second phospholipid that is the lecithin which is containing in the milk then fatty acid esters mono and the diglycerides then glycerols and the polyglycerol esters these are the basic uh, examples of the emulsifying agents then how does consist of the specific emulsifier or emulsification agent in which emulsification agent in which the main two part first that is the called as a head or the second part that is the tail in which the head mostly they are uh, hydrophilic in nature that means they are like with the bind with the water and the tail which is the hydrophobic in nature which is the dislike to connect with the water and this part is like to connect with the oil how does work the emulsifier in the preparation of the food product the emulsifier substances are also called as a surfactants basically consist of the two part first one is the head and second one is the tail head which is hydrophilic in nature connect with the water substances and tail which is the hydrophobic in nature connect with the oil substances in which they are as per their uh, specific nature the formation of the stable emulsion is occurred when 
we added with the emulsifying substances into this uh, immixable liquids the formation of the layer between the two immixable liquids you can see in this uh, image the water phase and the oil phase in between them emulsifying agents which are the formation of the uh, thin layer which is reduce the surface tension between them or which is reduce the interfacial force between the oil and water and whatever the oil substances or the whatever the dispersed phase constituents which are the distributed and uh, resulting formation of the layer on the dispersed phase and emulsion is formed in which emulsifying agent basically whatever the emulsifying agent their uh, a specific composition of hydrophilic and the lipophilic balance is very important you can see low hydrophilic lipophilic balance in which the part of the hydrophilic is lower if the part of the hydrophilic is more that called as a higher hydrophilic lipophilic balance after the addition of the emulsifying agent into the specific uh, immixable liquids and apply the homogenization process possible formation of the two type the the emulsion in which first there is the oil in water emulsions in which whatever the emulsifying agents which emulsifying agents which are the bind in this way this is the fat globules and this is the emulsifying agents this is the emulsifying agents with the tail which is connected with the fat and head which is connected with the water molecules water in this system is continuous phase and the fat is in dispersed phase similarly in the water in oil emulsion system whatever the emulsifying agents which are added these emulsifying agents head is connected with the water droplets and tail is connected with the oil oil is in continuous phase and water is in dispersed phase in this way the emulsifying agents which is the formation of the layer between the fat and oil and reduce the interfacial forces and whatever the dispersed phase containing substances they are distributed to inside of that emulsion and they are stable in position and formation of the homogeneous final product how emulsification process occurred in the preparation of the food product as per the specific the ingredients in which immixable constituents may be containing water and water soluble constituents and the fat and fat soluble constituents during the preparation of the food product whatever these constituents which are the mixed with the addition of the emulsifying agents and which are the properly homogenized between the processing and possible to produce the different type of the food product you can see simple example of the processing of the ice cream in the ice cream production process what are the milk cream added with the milk solid not fat added with the emulsifying and the stabilizing agent and the, all these ingredients are properly mixed to prepare the ice cream mix and after that properly mixing they are passed through the pasteurization and the homogenization process that means by application of the homogenization process to whatever the that liquid containing dispersed phase constituents which are the dispersed into the very small droplets and whatever the emulsifying and the stabilizing agent which are the added which is act and they are specifically follow their role and finally we get the homogeneous product of the what are the factors should required to consider in order to we get the proper emulsification process the first factor that is the quantity and the specific type of the emulsifying agent then size of the dispersed phase then interfacial force acting on the surface of the globules then viscosity of the continuous phase and the density difference between the dispersed and the continuous phase what is hydrophilic lipophilic balance in the emulsification system the emulsifying agents consist of the two part that is the hydrophilic and the lipophilic parts this the the parts containing in which the proportion of the hydrophilic and the lipophilic is very important the proportion of this hydrophilic and the lipophilic is measured in terms of the hydrophilic and the lipophilic balance the formula of the determination of hydrophilic lipophilic balance is that 20 into mh divided by m 
mh that means the molecular weight of the hydrophilic groups and m is total molecular weight of that uh, emulsifying agent in which the that hydrophilic lipophilic balance is important in order to get the proper if the proper balance between the hydrophilic and the lipophilic then resulting we get the proper emulsification system the hydrophilic and the lipophilic balance in the range of 0 to 20 these are the examples in which the as per their range they are categorized and their specific application they are used if the hydrophilic and lipophilic balance is lower in the range of 4 to 6 used for the water in oil emulsion system and if hydrophilic lipophilic balance is higher that means more than 8 to 18 which is used for oil in water emulsification system the balance between them is very important which are uh, used for the preparation of this different food product these are the references used for this preparation of the powerpoint presentation in this video discussion you learn what is been my emulsification system basic terms how emulsifying agent is work in the emulsification system and the process of the emulsification in the food processing industry.